place the spool of coil wire on the floor, run the wire up through the grommet, through the felt tensioning pads, and out through the nozzle. And I've set the tensioner so that I can feel some pull on this. You have to have some tension on this to get it to go properly. Now I'm going to take a uh, piece of masking tape and I'm going to tape the coil wire to the side of the winder arm. And let's feed the wire onto the bobbin. I'm going to turn on the machine. It cycles left and right. Press it once. We're going to set the right limit. And we'll adjust that until it's just inside the bobbin edge. That looks good. Press it again. And let's run this a bunch of times around. It looks pretty good. Okay, and turn it on so it sweeps back and forth. Speed is set around C. I'm going to reset my counter. I'm going to turn the machine on and I'm going to run this for a few revs and check to see what we got. It looks good. Okay. I'm going to continue winding. That was at 200. I'm going to go to 1500 and we'll take a quick peek at it. I'm going to have a little sip of coffee while we're doing this. That's 500. Seven fifty. We'll take a look at a thousand. Nine hundred. That's about a thousand. That oh, looks good. Okay. We'll let it uh, run to about uh, oh twenty five hundred. And we're gonna have a little more coffee. It may be a slightly imperfect machine, but it's sure better than sitting there and running it back and forth by hand. You can have a coffee and you can watch it go. Okay, 1700. We'll take a look at about 25. That's 23, 24, that's about 25. Looks good. Okay, turn it back on. We'll run it to 4,000. A little bit of coffee. Maybe two hundred. Thirty five hundred. Thirty 
3700. Thirty-eight, thirty-nine. Let me go four thousand. How's that look? That looks pretty good. Okay. There we go.